Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Gold Rush fans praise the show's new rock star in Warren. Gold Rush has introduced some hot new stars to the show this season, and the latest fan favorite seems to be Warren Binney. This season, Brady and Brandon Clayton have struggled and provided a sense of uncertainty along the way. However, much like their closest competitor, Fred Lewis, they have some MVPs on their crew. Here is what you need to know about Warren. Clayton brothers have a star in Warren on Gold Rush. The Clayton brothers admitted on this last episode that they have a lot of work to do if they want to beat Fred Lewis this season. Last week, Fred proved that he had a secret weapon on his team in Buzz Legault. In a previous episode, Buzz pulled Fred's butt out of the fire and helped him get moving again after yet another setback. When it comes to the Clayton brothers, they are working on a pay-as-you-go mining operation. They have to build a road that will cost $50,000, and this means they are hitting hot spots along the way to make money. However, equipment problems had the brothers hitting a new low. They even spent $7,500 on a new part and realized there were engine problems they had to deal with. This led to Warren Binney saving the day. While the brothers were fearing they weren't going to be able to continue, Warren pitched the idea of fixing a fallen conveyor belt by using the loader so they could keep the excavator in the trench. He then started working on getting the conveyor moving again. He took the lead and helped the Clayton brothers get back into action. The plan worked perfectly. On Reddit, fans loved watching Warren in action helping the Clayton brothers. Dude is working alone while the Claytons are gone, keeping the mine alive. One person wrote, Guys like him are worth so much more than they're paid. Amazing worker, nothing short of impressed with him. Others agreed, saying it seems like a stand-up guy, and that they are very impressed with that dude. Called a fantastic asset to the team, there are many fans now who believe that he can help the Clayton brothers start to reach their goals. How are the Clayton brothers doing on Gold Rush? The Clayton brothers came into the new episode leading Fred Lewis, but far behind Parker Schnibel and Tony Beats. As they mentioned in this episode, their main goal now was just to beat Fred Lewis. So, how much did Warren help them in their small lead over Fred on Gold Rush? The totals after Gold Rush Week 13 saw Parker bring in $1.8 million. Tony and his team of Greenhorns brought in $800,000. Fred brought in $26,000. The Claytons were not ranked. The season totals now have Parker in the lead with $6.98 million and Tony a distance behind him at $3.65 million. As for Fred and the Clayton brothers, Fred is now in the lead with $91,000 for the season. The Clayton brothers are setting at $66,000. The world of reality television often sparkles with the allure of untapped treasures and raw human ambition. Yet, few shows capture the essence of adventure and sheer grit quite like Gold Rush, the long-running series dedicated to the quest for gold in the rugged terrains of North America, has recently welcomed a new sensation who has rapidly become the talk of the town. Fans of Gold Rush have been abuzz with excitement over the newest rock star in Warren, a small, unassuming mining town that has suddenly found itself thrust into the spotlight. Warren's latest star is no ordinary miner. Unlike the grizzled veterans of the gold fields, he brings a fresh perspective and an indomitable spirit to the series. His name is Jack Harmon, a former Marine with a background in engineering and a knack for defying the odds. From the moment he set foot in the gold-rich soil of Warren, Jack's presence was undeniable. His calm demeanor, combined with an almost uncanny ability to locate rich veins of gold, has made him a beloved figure among viewers and fellow miners alike. Jack's journey to Warren is a story in itself. After serving multiple tours overseas, Jack sought a quieter life, one that would allow him to reconnect with nature and rediscover his sense of purpose. He found it in the most unexpected of places, the gold mines of Warren. The small town, 
steeped in history, and once the epicenter of gold fever, offered Jack a new beginning. He traded his military fatigues for mining gear and his rifle for a pickaxe, bringing with him a relentless drive to succeed and an unshakable sense of duty. From the outset, Jack faced immense challenges. The terrain was unforgiving, the equipment outdated, and the weather often uncooperative. But Jack's military training had prepared him for adversity. He approached each obstacle with meticulous planning and precision, traits that quickly earned him the respect of his peers. His innovative techniques, such as using drones to survey potential mining sites and applying his engineering skills to optimize machinery, set him apart from the rest. Viewers were captivated by his ingenuity and resourcefulness, turning him into an overnight sensation. What truly endeared Jack to the fans, however, was his unwavering commitment to his team. He saw his crew not merely as workers but as family. Under his leadership, the miners of Warren experienced a revival, with morale soaring and productivity reaching new heights. Jack's hands-on approach and his willingness to get his hands dirty quite literally inspired his team to push their limits. The camaraderie and unity he fostered were palpable, and it wasn't long before the results began to speak for themselves. As word of Jack's success spread, so did the viewership of Gold Rush. The episodes featuring Warren's new rock star drew record ratings, with audiences tuning in to witness the unfolding drama and triumphs. Social media buzzed with praise, fans lauding Jack's tenacity, leadership, and heart. Hashtags like hashtag WarrenWander and hashtag GoldrushJack trended, as viewers from around the world expressed their admiration. Fan forums and discussion boards were flooded with comments, many celebrating Jack's refreshing presence and the renewed energy he brought to the series. The producers of Gold Rush quickly recognized the golden opportunity Jack presented. They dedicated more screen time to his exploits, capturing the intricate details of his operations and the personal moments that revealed the man behind the miner. The camera loved Jack, and he in turn opened up to it, sharing his hopes, fears, and the drive that kept him going. His candidness and authenticity resonated deeply with viewers, creating a bond that transcended the screen. In Warren, the impact of Jack's presence was tangible. The town, once a sleepy reminder of a bygone era, was invigorated with new life. Local businesses flourished as the influx of tourists and fans brought economic prosperity. The residents, initially skeptical of the attention, embraced their newfound fame, proud to share their rich heritage and the Gold Rush legacy with a wider audience. Jack Harmon had not only revived the fortunes of a struggling mining town, but had also rekindled the spirit of adventure and discovery that defined its history. As the season progressed, Jack's legend grew. Each episode unveiled new challenges and new triumphs, keeping audiences on the edge of their seats. Whether it was battling through a treacherous storm to keep the operation running or striking a rich vein of gold after days of fruitless digging, Jack's journey was a testament to perseverance and the unyielding human spirit. His story became an inspiring saga, a modern-day gold rush tale that captivated hearts and minds. The final episodes of the season promised even greater excitement. Teasers hinted at a monumental discovery, a game-changing find that could cement Jack's status as a gold-mining icon.